Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am back. So today we are making chicken shashlik. It is so delicious, tender and easy to make. That is, it is cooked in no time. With tasty bell peppers and onion, it is representable and is nutritional. So let's start making chicken shashlik. In order to be making chicken shashlik, you would need two pounds of boneless chicken, two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, Into this, I'm going to add one and a half te teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add half more teaspoons of salt. Now I'll add half teaspoon of red chili powder. Half teaspoon of fresh red chili. One more teaspoon of black pepper powder. Three tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sriracha. Now I'm going to mix it with the spoon. Now I mixed up my chicken and now I'm going to add onions and I chop my onions like this. You can see, right? As you can see. So right here I have like one onion, one red bell pepper and green, one green bell pepper. So I'm going to add it all. Now I'm going to mix it. Look how colorful this is looking. So over here I have wooden sticks and into this I was soaking it. The reason I soaked it, so whenever I'm frying it, my sticks don't burn. If you don't soak it, it'll burn. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add um, bell pepper first, like this. I'm going to make a pattern. Uh, chicken. Then onion, then another chicken cube, bell pepper, another chicken cube, and now the last bell pepper. There. Make sure you leave the space so it can go from the middle. I'm going to make all these sticks. So now look, I made all of these my shashlik sticks and I put them into a stick, right? Now I'm going to be cooking them in my fry pan. Now I'm going to put two to three tablespoons of oil. Now I'm going to add my shashlik sticks into the fry pan on medium low heat. After two or three minutes, flip the side and then cook it for another two to three minutes. So now we're going to cook it until chicken gets tender. Shashlik chicken it is very good, very yummy, very healthy, really good for you. Um, you should try this at home. This recipe is super easy. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!